Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Center Ring 8. Amateur fights and we're underway with the professional part of the program. Six rounds in the welterweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get rolling, would you welcome in the red corner, a lovely lady originally from Mulwell, Victoria, now based on Queensland's Gold Coast. She is the Pathfinder, a former IBA and OBA women's super featherweight and junior welterweight champion of the world. Would you welcome back to Melbourne, a lady who's taken women's boxing to California, USA, Tokyo, Japan, and London, England. The wild thing, let's welcome Sharon and us, the first lady of Australian International Women's Boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first on my left, occupying the red corner in memory, not in memory, but in thoughts of Les Agnos. This young man, no amateur contest. Two professional fights, one win, one loss. From the rain, Gold Coast, Queensland. He's getting 66.68 kilograms, proudly carrying the heritage of indigenous Australians. Ladies and gentlemen, red trunks with a touch of gold and black. Would you welcome to Melbourne for the first time, the wood chopper, Wayne Maynard. Maynard. And across the ring in the sixth round, won the weight contest. Ladies and gentlemen, he's had four professional fights. Two wins, one loss, one draw. Before then, in 2001, he was a national amateur boxing league welterweight champion in amateur boxing. 22 fights, 18 wins, part of Murray Thompson's progressive fighters factory. Wearing blue trunks with Brian Butler in the corner and Greg Rogan. Would you welcome the Backburn Butcher, Lethal Lee Purcell. World Championship Referee, Nathan Bolton. Your judges are signed on the 10-point mass system. Mick Croucher, Andrew Campbell, and John McCubbin. Malcolm, it's your instructions, my boy. Here we go. Okay, what well, James, this looks like it's going to be a cracker. Six three-minute rounds, Wayne Maynard and Lee Purcell, and we all know what Lee Purcell can do. He's a rugged little fellow then. Wayne Maynard, I'm not too sure about, I haven't seen him, but um, he's, he's got a lot of grit there, and I think the fans are in for a big one here. Six three-minute rounds, Lee Purcell, the Black Bambucha versus Wayne Maynard. First round of six threes, Wayne Maynard in the red, and in the black, we've got Lee Purcell. First of professional contest tonight, heading up the main event, Stuart Muller versus Kevin Murray. Good jabs from Purcell to start the proceedings. Purcell from Blackman in the black trunks. Fighting out of the fighters factory, who's been very successful. Good amateur career. We have another South Oregon shocker. Yes, well, you know what I think of it then. <laughs> but this fellow seems very strong. He's a, he's a searching southpaw. He'll reach underneath with that right hand. He's leading right. Good jab from Purcell. Underneath. Bearing these punches. Purcell, originally from Queensland, now fighting out of Oakley. Not Purcell, oh, sorry, Maynard. Mm. Oh, good right cross there. On the top of the head from Purcell. Left jab. Oh, good jab. Just missing the target from Purcell, but it's early doors, six threes. Trying to find his range, Lee. Yeah. Fights like an old time fighter, doesn't he? His hands just a little bit lower. He could have been Les Darcy, couldn't he? A bit bigger. Yeah. Good right cross. Two good right crosses from Purcell. Purcell pushes up the pressure. Two great right crosses from Lee Purcell. Maynard's on the back foot now. Another right cross from Purcell. When he cuts loose, he's fast. Oh, good left. If Wayne Maynard comes back, he's coming back. 
Good left from Purcell. Snappy left jab. Man, I'm just feeling his way around. Purcell doesn't have such a thing as a, a warm up round. Good balance, isn't he, James? Yeah. With Purcell. Yep. Moves well. Even if it's a south boy, he still retains his balance. What I like about Lee is he's uh, in and out of range well, too. Mm. Moves in and then just moves out of harm's way. Searching right there from Purcell. Misses a target. Wayne Maynard's no slouch either. He's, uh, no, he can, he can go a bit. I mean, when he gets hurt, he comes back. He doesn't tell it. Purcell pushing on the pressure. Left, right, left, right, underneath. Purcell comes back. Lost his balance there, Purcell. And a very good round there from both fighters. We will leave Purcell probably edging in front. And uh, there's a good opening round from Purcell. I mean, that's what I like. Every time I've seen Lee Purcell, he, he knows he's fighting six threes, and he's not going to take a couple of rounds to warm up, James. He's just got to go straight in there and say, look, this is what we're doing. What do you think, James Grimmer? He was looking for that straight right hand, and he found uh, he found the mark a few times. But like I said, uh, Wayne Maynard, uh, he came back, especially at the end of the round there. But he counted well, and I think he even had Lee in a little bit of trouble. Well, the thing is that he, he's an unknown quantity. Can he counter? And if he does counter, I mean, and he counters as well, well, all of a sudden we've got a problem here for Lee Purcell. But the harder the problem, the harder Purcell fights. I mean, he knows, he knows that's what he's got to do. I mean, Lee Purcell, here we go, second round. Lee Purcell in the black trunks, this is the second of six threes. And in the red, the southpaw from Queens, originally from Queensland, Wayne Maynard. Full Purcell goes underneath. Punch, punch. Good stinging right cross there from Purcell. Maynard very weary now about the power of Purcell. He's stalking his man now. Yeah? Looking for the right hand. Oh, he's punching under. He wants to get on with the job, Purcell. He's not in the mood for clinging on. Dancing's on Thursday nights, he said. Good left from Purcell. Underneath, over the top. Good variation there. Typical fighters factory. In the corner, we've got Brian Butler. We've got Murray Thompson giving the instructions to Purcell. In the black trunks, right cross from Purcell. He steps it up, he's got him on the ropes, he's going underneath, over the top. He's got a left hook in there as well, over the top with the right, an uppercut from Purcell. Maynard fights back, a right cross from Purcell, and with the shoulder, over the top with the right. He landed a few dangerous right hands in there, Shaka. He landed a few, not as clean as he'd like them. But Maynard comes back, Southpaw Maynard in the red pants. Purcell just goes over the top with that right cross. Underneath again there. And Wayne Maynard's having a dig underneath. Purcell in the black trunk, good left hand. Pretty balanced there. Good right cross there from Purcell. Back with a left cross from Maynard. And an uppercut from Maynard. He's got a little bit of experience here. Purcell's piling up the pressure. Maynard comes back. Purcell with a left hook, just grazes the chin of Maynard. Lee Purcell, doesn't leave you much time. He'll be on Maynard. You're going to stick to this fellow like Velcro, he will. Underneath from Purcell. He doesn't wait around, he goes over the top. He tucks his elbows in, he left hooks on the jaw to Maynard. Maynard comes back with one over the top himself. Purcell with the right cross. Another right cross from Purcell. Another one from Purcell. Where's it going with it?
Underneath from Purcell. Selling a black truck from the Five Factory. And a good run there from Lee Purcell. Two good rounds. Six threes is one. I've got two under our belt. And I think Lee Purcell would actually be in front here. Good boxing from Lee Purcell, but you've got to hand it to Wayne Maynard, the boy from Queensland. He's definitely punching back. And James Grimmer, uh, Lee Purcell, he stacks up the pressure when he wants to, doesn't he? He does. He's, uh, he's doing a lot of things well. He's leading with the, the left jab. Uh, finding his measure, unloaded with the right hand, little short left hooks inside. And he's not over exuberant. I mean, he steps up the pressure when it's there. He doesn't try to punch himself right out and say, look, I want an early night. When it's there, he steps it up, and then he comes back. He's... He picks his mark. He picks his mark. Round three, six three-minute rounds. Lee Purcell in the black trunks. And then the red, Wayne Wiener, the southpaw from the red corner. And it's getting a bit scrappy here. That could only mean maybe Wayne Maynard's losing a bit of interest. But we never know. He's come back after being stung. Just a little bit of a low blow from Purcell. Purcell, let's go with a right cross. Another right cross. He's got him in his own corner. Is he going to launch the bomb? Purcell looking for his way in. Maynard turns away. Shouldn't do that. Keep your eye on it. Oh, good shot from Purcell. Swung him against the ropes. Both boys caging up here. Third round, six threes. Lee Purcell from Blackburn. Wayne Maynard with a long right there, a long left from the red corner. The Aboriginal flag on his pants. Ooh. He just moved over there to the right and looked to the left rib. Yeah, he's waiting on the right. Good right one. On the gloves. I was taking on the gloves there. Fans behind it. Didn't think so. But he's got a cock loop of cell. He's got the right. He's got the right hand call. Good clubbing right there from Maynard. Body shot from Maynard. Right cross from Purcell. Purcell looking through. Through the ropes. Went through the ropes and he wanted to go on with it. Get out the way, ref. That's what he said. And he's gone in there again with a right cross to the body. Gotta watch the heads there. And then goes Purcell again. He's digging in now. Left, right, right cross. Bounces back. Gives himself a bit of room. Maynard looking for a way out. Left. Maynard just poking out the right cross. He's not really meaning any danger with it. Oh, good right left cross there from uh, Maynard. Into the body from Maynard. A bit tentative. He doesn't want to get too far. He doesn't want to upset his man. Purcell having a breather. Body shot underneath. Left. Right cross over the top. Very fast. Left. Miss with the right over the top. And referee Malcolm Bulna breaks the boys up here in the third round of six threes. Left rip, they just missed the target. Maynard comes back. Jab from Maynard. Purcell waiting on the opening. Oh, nearly crossed his legs there. And the end of the round there. A better round from Maynard, but uh, only because I think Lee Purcell Took his foot off the accelerator and uh, had a little bit of a breather. What do you think, James? Yep, I think uh, Lee probably wasn't too happy with uh, Malcolm jumping in there. He looked like he had him on toast. Yeah, well, when uh, over in the neutral corner, when Maynard went through the top rope and his head was over the underneath the top rope, I think Lee Purcell thought, we're still on his feet, I want to go for it. But Malcolm, an no old safety, I mean, sometimes it's not good to... Yep, I think the fighter safety has got to come first. You if you come to back it. and you hit the thrapple on the... You know, your throat on the uh, the top rope, it could be dangerous. Yep. I don't think he needs it that way, but uh, Lee Purcell just had a bit of a breather there, and I think, you know, maybe the best is yet to come. The he's, uh, he's worked him out in the first two rounds and say, well, look, this guy's mine, I'm going to have a breather. Work him out, give him a chance, and then I'm going to punish him. Fourth. 
Fourth round. Fourth round. Wayne may not definitely show, uh, show that he was tough enough in that round because he, he wore a bit and he came back. Mm, that's right. Yeah, I mean, Leonard hasn't thrown a towel in it completely. And he's, uh, he's threw a few punches back. Good shot there from Purcell over the top. A good right cross. Left, left. Two lefts, a right. A miss with a right. Clubbing left from Maynard. Don't worry about it, Purcell says. I'm coming back. He's going to tie it up with a southpaw. Maynard stepping up the pressure here. Can he come a bit there? He might want to do something here. Left jab. Oh, good right cross here for Pacella. It didn't look too good, uh, a strong punch, but it was. His distance he's dropped off Purcell, isn't he? He's missing more than he ever did. Well, he didn't miss with that one. He's missing again in a clash of heads there. He's getting very careless, Purcell, which is unlike him because he had it wrapped up in the first. Good right cross from Purcell. He's trying again. He's reaching too far. Step in. It goes underneath. Maynard goes underneath. Gee, some of these southpaws can make you look really ordinary. Every one of them makes you look ordinary. They should have been shot at birth. <laughs> Purcell, apart from Jimmy Bell. <laughs> Purcell's getting a bit scrappy, isn't it? I mean, you would have thought, you know, from the first and second round uh, episode that he would have uh, had this Quite well wrapped up by now. Yep. Good right cross now by Purcell. He thumps him on the ropes. Above the commentary position. Here he goes again. Bang! Bang again! Whoa. Bang! Bang! He's got him now on the ropes. Purcell goes in for the kill. Underneath. Over the top. Purcell's got light left. Maynard looks weary. He's not going to breathe. Purcell goes in for the kill. Bang! Over the top. Give it to him, he said. Now there's blood coming from somewhere now. Cut oh, over cut. Maynard's head. Relentless pressure from Lethal Lee Purcell. It was like a bear cut too, Chucker. Yeah, it's stripping a fair bit now, but Purcell wanted to step in and stop it. Good shot from Purcell. Turns his head away. Comes over the top. Bullner's looking at the cut. Purcell goes underneath, comes back Maynard, one or two, punches to the top. Then it goes the bell for the end of the fourth round. In a colossal round for Lethal Lee Purcell. Maynard goes back to the corner. Referee Malcolm Moon are not unduly worried about the cut so far. Oh, mommy! <laughs> And it's all happening in the ring of the moment. <laughs> it's round five. I can't see the card up there. What's he holding up there? The round five. Yes, it is. They're looking at the cut in the red corner now. Malcolm Moon are not unduly worried. Will he go for the ringside position? Lethal Lee Purcell. He sees the blood. He's used to that. He's a butcher. There's a whistle, seconds out. Round five of six rounds, and it's a one-way traffic for Lethal Lee Purcell. Let's get it on, boys. A bit of dress work here from uh, Murray Thompson. And Purcell starts with a jab, goes underneath. Yeah, we're right at cross. Land on that eye again, Chucker. Yeah, you'll be looking at the eye. Keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on the eye. Oh, good that. shot! Ooh. Good shot from Purcell. Left, right. Nice. Left, oh, he's hit him. No, he's down! Welcome, <laughs> Werner, stop the fight! Yes, there was no way that was going anywhere. It's Purcell! Uh, lethal Lee Purcell stops his man in the fifth round.
It's all happening. A brave fight with Wayne Maynard, but not brave enough. We don't need the judges for this one, James Grimmer. The Lethal Lee has bashed his way into another victory. And he goes back to the corner where Murray Thompson takes the gladiator's mitts off. And the fans showing their approval of the lethal Lee Purcell, the Blackburn Butcher. Enjoy, enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Melvin Bullner called the contest off. Wayne Maynard unable to protect himself. Your winner in round five, 28 seconds in, Lethal Lee Purcell. Yes. How about a big number of men in the white and the wood chunk of Maynard? Okay, Basil, getting his photograph of Lee Purcell. Basil, come across and tell us about Command, Command Dog Training School. Where are you based? Uh, yeah, thanks very much. We're based in uh, Melbourne, such a pollen area. We've got five or six training grounds. Uh, largest professional training school in Melbourne. We cover uh, everything from puppies, uh, basic events up to advanced agility and home training. So we're on the internet, www.dogtraining.com.au. Thanks very much, Murray, and what a great fight it was. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Basil. <laughs> Lee Purcell, come on, have a great chance for Lee Purcell. Have a... Have a... Have a... Lee, uh, I told you that, uh, you know, before the way in last night, you look cool, calm, and collected. I see a different style tonight. You pace yourself well. You know, a different style, Lee. Um, yes. I'm trying to learn how to relax a little bit more, a bit tense a little bit. And I'm still with a girl on my own so... Um, I'm not really sure, yeah. Good pass. Um, first of all, Murray, for taking on board again. And, um, I'd like to thank you, um, all my friends over there. Just, um, very much from Jesus, so, fantastic.